That's right. Hi, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome to News Ish. Your boy, he's right here. All right, so first up, some good news from GH. My main man, Shata Wiley, uh, reportedly bought himself a mansion worth a million dollars. No, that's what I like, my boy. He went on social media to share the good news with everybody. And uh, you know Shata Wiley, now. You know he's going to put some attitude to it. Anyway, shout out to you, my man. More grease to your elbow. Blah, 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 blah. And shout out to all my boys in GH. All right, moving on now to our favorite exes. My own favorite Kardashian, that is called Disc. <clears throat> so, how do you go on a holiday to Cabo, Mexico with your ex? Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian. All right, so they were seen in Cabo, just relaxing, getting the sun on their skin. But no, PDA, just living in good spirits. I don't really know. Can I hope all my ex and go to Mexico with her? Ah, well, let's see what's going on. Moving on to the next one, big congratulations to Nigerian boxer Olufemi Oyeleye, who just got signed to Floyd Mayweather's promotion uh, company. Uh, shout out to you, my boy. He went on Facebook and congratulated himself by sharing the news with his family, his friends, his fans. And of course, he also gave a big shout out to Floyd Mayweather Jr. for believing in him and his team. All right, so moving on to the next news. What is the weirdest thing? You waking up in the morning and hearing that Taylor Swift might be dropping a hip hop and R&B album. Weird, right? Okay, so rumor has it that she might be dropping one because pictures were seen of Taylor Swift and Drake at Drake's birthday party and uh, a couple of things happened and rumors happened that they were dating but there's no substantial evidence that they are dating but ladies and gentlemen the news have it that they have been in the studio collaborating and uh, word has it that she might be having a uh, hip hop R&B kind of join maybe infusion with pop kind of album but I don't really know. It's music, it's art, so it might make sense at the end of the day. Anyway, shout out to you, Taylor Swift. So moving on to our final story. This is coming from um, the Chambers of Prince Purple. But now, it's all about its unreleased music. So, Jay-Z dropped 40 million bucks, that is $40 million, to buy Prince's unreleased music. You know what I mean? But Prince's people, lawyers, attorneys, or whatever you like to call them, they're like, nah, uh, Jay-Z, on to the next one. You see what I did? To the next one. Uh, uh, yeah. But anyways, back to the matter at hand. Jay-Z can't get them and they gave it to Universal Music Group. You know what I mean? So imagine you turning down Jay-Z and giving in the original music to Universal Music Group. So I'm, I don't know if it's about money or it's about push. But anyways, that's how the story went. Well, we still miss you, Prince. We love y'all. We love your music. Yo, that's it for me on News-ish. I'm out of here. I enjoyed this one today, man. Peace out. That's right. <laughs>